So you went to Europe with your kids. How old are your kids now? Yeah. Two, four, and nine. Okay, and so that's a long flight to go to Europe. How, how was that with those kids on the flight? Oh, it was full of adventure. Uh -huh. um, yeah, it was challenging. Do they like to fly? <laughs> well, you know, the older, I don't know how mothers did it before iPads. Because with the nine-year-old and the four-year-old, you can stick an iPad in front of them. And especially, I have this trick where I don't let them use the iPad for like weeks before. Oh. And then when I get on the plane, I'm like, I've got an iPad. <laughs> and they just completely freak out and they're just quiet for the whole entire time. It's the two-year-old, Eli, that is just learning to walk and super excited about meeting every single person on the plane. Oh, yeah. wow. And were they excited to meet him? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> some, some are and some yeah. aren't. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Here he is in Italy, oh. eating his pasta. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. That's adorable. All right, so uh, the so he's two, yes. and then you said four and nine. Yes, Sienna and, is four. Right. I don't know if we have a picture of her. There's right. Sienna. Yeah. She's um, who's your favorite? My which one, if you had to say, <laughs> child, if you had to say your favorite, which one would it be? Ellen DeGeneres. Don't you dare! <laughs> They're not watching. <laughs> All right, so uh, <laughs> you, oh, you have one, obviously, because you're not gonna say, because the answer should have been, I love them all. I but, love, okay, all you're right, right, I love them right all. Right away, that should have been your answer. Okay, yeah. let me not ask that. Who's the smartest? It depends on, for what? Like smart, yeah. like Stella's smart and like she knows how to go to her dad and get what she wants. And mm -hmm. Sienna's super smart because she'll just have a complete meltdown freak out and you'll give her whatever she wants to get her to shut up. Right. And then Eli's super smart because he knows how to bat his eyes at you and you give him whatever he wants, even though he can't speak so he can't really ask for anything. Right. So. So they just all sound manipulative. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't all children? Yeah, That's I, all they are is I, hungry, manipulative I, little creatures. Yes, yes. They're always hungry and they always want everything. Yeah, that's why yeah. I don't have them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so let's talk about, I was, I, I appreciated you asking me to give you the award this weekend. I was in Vancouver, but um, you got the Glisten uh, Award this weekend and that's so fantastic. And tell everybody, first of all, Congratulations. Thank you. Um, and, but they really need the help right now. They do. Um, Glisten is an amazing organization for those of you who haven't heard of it. Um, they provide support uh, for gay, lesbian, transgender teens in school, in the school, specifically in the school environment. And um, a lot of the work that Glisten does is um, on a local level. They work with the teachers and the schools. And they do a lot of research and they do a lot of polling. And we know Glisten's research shows definitively that this year there's been an increase of violence against gay and lesbian transgender teens in schools, an increase of 65%. So, I mean, could you just imagine having a sweet little baby in second grade or third grade or fourth grade and they're different than the other kids, and every day they're faced with anxiety and fear about getting beat up and uh, harassed and bullied. And this year specifically, I, I don't even want to get into why the violence in this country is, is at such an alarming rate, um, but it is. And something we can all do that we know also from Glisten Research that really works is we set up gay straight alliance clubs in the schools. The kids feel supported, they feel protected, and they feel safe and they learn better. better. There's less incidence of depression and suicide. And so there is something that we, that, that we can do to help these kids that the research shows is very effective. Yeah, yeah. it's called the Gay Straight yeah. Alliance. So for all the straight kids out there, if there's not a, great, a Gay Straight Alliance Club in your school, please, I'm begging you to start one because it's yeah. what you can do. Good for you. You're not, you're not, they're not old enough to vote? Yeah. I, they specifically, can do that. it's important because yeah. if you're not old enough to vote, that is something that you can do that will make a real difference and really help kids. Yeah. So please, I it's, beg you. It's a, I love that you're so passionate about that.